Alright cyber diggity dogs welcome back to game 3 of this let's play Hearthstone Arena draft with me Ren diggity dog in the previous episode we got our buttholes handed to us by a paladin and uh, in game 1 we managed to kick some serious butthole and in game 3 we are going to hope to relive the glory of game 1. We managed to draft ourselves a Rexar deck although it hasn't really turned out to be a hunter deck it's more like a weird like rogue hunter hybrid deck uh, it's got a whole bunch of really good cards in it though and it has the potential to do really well so without further ado guys let's get into freaking game three let's find ourselves another worthy opponent and uh man i'm not entirely sure what went wrong in the previous game i think i don't know i think our opponent's minions were just better than ours that that you know he he just had some really good jazz going on early game there and it just really took us by surprise we just couldn't play good enough minions early on in the game to deal with what he was playing but um that's the way the freaking cookie crumbles man let's see if we can get a better draft this time around Rexa. Versus Our next opponent is a druid, and his name is Nyanee. Let the hunt begin. Good luck to you, Nyanee. May the, may the heart of the freaking cards be with your butthole. Alright, looks like we picked up a really decent opening hand over here. I'm not going to swap anything out. We start with the Abusive Sergeant, and we go into the Master Swordsmith, which is going to pump the Abusive Sergeant, if it's still in play, into a Blood Knight also. So, a pretty decent curve. I'm going to hang on to this quite nicely. Uh, whenever I see blue and purple gems in my hand, makes me a happy doggy, man. Oh, that's even better. Damn. Oh, hello. Although, this guy can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. I think we're definitely, yeah, we're definitely going to play our Master Swordsmith first, I think. Yeah, let's drop our Master Swordsmith on turn one. Next turn, we can pump him up with our Abusive Sergeant. And then he's going to pump up our Abusive Sergeant in return. It's kind of like a, you know, it's like a symbiotic relationship they got going on over here, man. These two dudes, are they're going to go to the bar on the, uh, on the pirate boat together, have a, a few ales. And then they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, let's kick some ass. All right, Nynaeve, what have you got for us there, my friend? Let's remind ourselves of the hero power of the druid. It's shape shift, gets plus one attack this turn and plus one armor. Basically gains a life and can deal the damage. It's pretty good. All right, die wolf alpha, adjacent minions have plus one attack. Man, that is some goodness right there. I think I probably need to take that thing out. Oh, by the way, this thing's terrible because we didn't manage to pick up a weapon. So that kind of sucks. All right, Abusive Sergeant, let's pump up our guy. I think I'm just going to go, go for the face. I'm going straight for the face. Next turn, he's going to need to... Let's see, anything else we can do? No. Next turn, he's going to need to attack the Swordsmith and attack it with his Druid, taking another three damage just to get rid of the Swordsmith. So, you know, it's all good by me, man. Oh, actually, he just lost his plus two, so... Ow! All right, he's coming for the base. War Golem in the hand. That doesn't do much. We, we might have to deadly shot here, I think. Hmm. Or we just keep up the pressure. Hmm. If we could play the pirate... Which is going to become a 3-3 next turn from the Master Swordsmith. Whatever, whatever we play next turn gets plus 1, plus 0, right? I kind of want to keep the Blood Knight to kill one of his uh, Divine Shields. Because I know that's coming. I can sense it. So I think I'm going to play the, play the Pirate. It's time. And I think I'm going to attack him. And pass the turn. Alright, let's see what he's got. So he's either going to have to trade here. Or attack here and lose a card. I think he's probably going to trade. Well, that was pretty good. That was a pretty decent little turn he did over there. Swipe. Deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies. Damn. That's, uh, that's some good jazz. Alright. Well, we're still only facing a 2-1 and a 3-2. So it's not the end of the freaking world right now. I think the best we could probably do now... Is play. Hmm. Play our fairy dragon and our leper gnome. He's gonna deal two damage to his face if he dies. And all of this is a trade, right? 
like any of these attacks are a trade. I think that's one a good strategy in Hearthstone to try and set up a point where any minions on your, your enemy's side of the battlefield trades with any of your minions. As soon as he has a minion that can't trade with one of yours, you're at a disadvantage, right? Bam! It's getting a little bit chilly in here, man. What you got for me there, Nynaeve? There's a little, 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 uh, cat in there. <laughs> man, I love, I, for some reason I take great pleasure in poking this thing's eyeball out. Bro, you're running out of time. The fuse is about to light. Nynaeve, what you got, bro? Alright, here we go. Something's happening. For the king! Stormwind Knight 2-5 with charge. That's pretty good. So he could send 7 to the face. Alright, alright. Alright, no worries. We had a little bit of a trade there. No problem. Argent Swire, Squire Divine Shield. Hello, Blood Knight. Oh, man. Blood Knight is so good. Yeah, I think it's pretty much time for Blood Knighting. Glory to the Sindora. 5-5 five, five for... 6-6 six, six for 3. Thanks very much. I'll take that any day of the week, man. We'll restore 2 health to ourselves. Bam! A couple turns away from our 7-7 War Golem, too. So that's decent. Let's see, what we got here? We got a, we've got a 1-1 one, one that does nothing. This thing's now a 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty good. Oh, this guy gives minions plus 1, plus 1. He's, he played his Arcane Squire on the wrong side of the Alpha, uh, Die Wolf Alpha. He should have played it on this hmm. side. Would have been better. Just more optimal that way, right? Because then it's a 2-1 instead of 1-1. One, one. Aren't you guys proud of me, man? I'm getting better at Hearthstone. I mean, I'm still a noob, but I mean, I'm getting better, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a better thing to play next to the wolf. But he could have played it next to the wolf anyway. Yeah. Uh, things are getting a little bit hairy right now. This Acolyte of Pain, man. That thing is some good jazz. Oh, hello, Iron Forge Rifleman. Good to see your bottle. Take him out. Bam! Deadly shot time. Just going to roll the dice, man. Let's see what we hit. Yes! That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to hit. For six to the face. I mean, there's no better place for six damage than the face. I mean, seriously. Next turn, we play our War Golem. So things are looking pretty good. Although he is on 7 mana himself. So he could have a War Golem or some other nasty ass minion that we don't know about. He's going to draw a card off that. Ah, I told you man. This Acolyte. <laughs> that, thing is, that thing is some good. We did pick up an Explosive Trap, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember if... I think we did. Yeah, I, did think we, I think we did pick up an Explosive Trap. We just haven't seen it yet. Alright, he's going to shapeshift and take this guy out. Yep. Where shall I strike? Drew to the claw. Alright, well that was a two for one over there. So I'm happy with that, man. Whenever you can get a two for one or an X for one, so anything above a one for one, you are profiting. And that makes me happy, man. I, 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 I want nothing more in this world other than to profit. And speaking about profit, here is a freaking 7-7. Seven, seven. Enjoy this. Man, check out that art. That golem is about to smash the jazz out of that shield. It's awesome. I really like the art of this Acolyte of Pain, though. It's really cool. Alright, he just wanted to draw a card there. Well, he's got 8 mana and a buttload of cards in his hand. If he can't deal with the 7-6, then... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't know. He's got to have something. I mean, druids, druids have, like, gain life cards. They have cards that draw you cards. Where shall I Another druid of the floor. Okay, okay. It's going to make him a taunter. Fair enough. Is that it? Do you need a blessing? Young priestess. At the end of your turn, give another friendly minion plus one health. Wow, that's pretty good. And then what, what just happened? Give your minions plus one plus one or summon a three two panther. Well, things have just gone horribly pear-shaped. Things were going well. And now things are not going well. 
Hmm. Alright, so let's work out... Can we can we kill him... So 7's going to take him down to 10. This is going to take him down to 7. This is going to take him down to 5. Next turn, he attacks for 8, taking us down to 11. I wonder... Huh. I'm thinking about whether we should use the kill command to his face or use the kill command to kill the priestess. The thing is, this thing's got taunt, right? So either way, we've got to deal with this thing somehow. I mean, I think we probably... Hmm. Man, that is, that is some annoying jazz right there. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to... We're going to have to uh, two for one ourselves here. It's the only way to do it, man. And then we'll play a Sun Fury Protector. Hey, our guy didn't die. Sweet. Two damage to the face. Man, that's awesome. Well, he's going to have to trade here, right? This is a no-brainer. I mean, if he doesn't trade here, he's taking 9, 11 damage next turn. There's got to be a trade here. The cat came back. Is this like a tribe of monkeys or something in here? It's kind of weird. And the fire went out. All right, he's shape-shifting. Is he attacking this thing? Don't be... Okay. Glory to the that's that's fair enough, I guess. All oh, right, things are getting things are getting pretty bad here. Well, Razor Finn Hunter, two damage. This is a tight game. I mean, we're basically both top decking right here. I mean, he takes out the, the, the Hunter here with the 4-5. Comes in for 4. Putting us at 15, and then he's probably got something else in his hand. He can also come in for another 1 attack. And gain 1 life, essentially. Yeah, he's going to gain a life. I think he'll probably take out the, the boar so that I don't kill his 4-1. Yeah. And then trade here. Yep. Come in for 4. Yep. Alright, what are we going to top deck? Sun Fury Protector. I mean, that's not doing much. But it's still a butthole on the battlefield, man. And it's all about them buttholes on the battlefield. At any rate, he has to deal with this thing. Maybe I should have held on to this thing. Oh god. The Patriarch changes everything. He pretty much has to kill this thing because if we play another minion, it, it, it uh, we get a taunt. And that gives us another turn to send two damage at his face. Yeah, he had to do that. Well, I think that's GG right there, man. Dang it! So close! That was so close! Job's done. Well played, well played, sir! Oh, man. That was, that was super tight. I don't know what what went wrong there. Well, that's what I said in the last game. So pretty much exactly the same thing that happened to us in our first draft is happening to us again. We win the first game and then lose the rest. Anyway, well played, Nia Neve. That was a very fun game, actually. Really enjoyed that one, guys. But we, we can still redeem ourselves, man. We can still win two more games. So uh, I'll see you in the next freaking video.